Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. If you've been watching some of the videos lately, I've been teasing everyone about some new hardware being installed in the GSP Studio. Well, it's here. The Unicore QED has been installed in my Golf Simulator here in the G GSV Studio. So we're very excited to have it. I know a few people were sending you know, comments, what's being installed, what's being installed. A few people said, how do you get the IXO? Well, I don't have it. Uh, it's coming in June and we plan on installing it in the GSV Golf Simulator Studio. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we need to get you guys all the information about the Unicore QED, uh, all the different software it offers, all the different software it connects to, the ins and outs, the how-tos and everything. So this initial video is just an installation and setup video that I did showing you the unboxing, the hanging and running of wires, the installation of the software, and the first couple shots. All right, so uh, I'm going to take you through step by step on all the different software with the base package that comes with Ignite. I'm going to take you through all of those little ins and outs, and then I'll take you through the refined software where has, they have practice ranges and they have short game facilities with putting and chipping, they have on course play all kinds of things. Then I have licenses for Creative Golf, TGC 2019, and E6 Connect, and we'll show you guys how the unit integrates with those and how it performs. We'll also be comparing against other launch monitors, so that will be fun. I want you guys to comment below and let me know what you think and what you want to see now that we have additional hardware. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. For those of you that have subscribed, I appreciate it. We have a ton of content coming, so get excited. Here we go. Let's start with the unboxing. All right, guys, so here we are with the Unicore QED, fresh out of the box. Let's open it up and see what comes inside. So I already have prepped the simulator room itself with a perfect spot to mount the QED, uh, three and a half feet behind my T position as recommended. Looks like when we open this up, we have our checkered board calibration. Uh, board so um, you end up setting this here in your hitting area and that's so the cameras can come down and align I'll take you through that process um, Looks like we have a couple boxes on each side uh, This one's marked land cable and Ethernet gender, okay, so um, Land cable cat 6 Ethernet cable with a USB to Ethernet adapter so if you don't have an open ethernet port available on your machine, that's as easy as plugging it into a USB port. That's really cool. And then this box is adapter, power jack, and screw. So it looks like you have your AC adapter along with your power cord. There is your other adapter and screws. All right, setting all this aside here. And then it looks like separate from the balls that they ship you uh, from Bridgestone, actually, uh, Bridgestone balls, they got shipped from Unicor. Um, I have uh, several cases of these that they ship separately that comes with them. So then there's also, uh, what is there in there? 12 balls, a dozen balls here, the marked balls for you know your spin reading and everything. So um, let's see here. Oh, look at this, two dozen balls inside with the Unicor. Awesome, fantastic. I didn't remember the specific amount that was included with the actual hardware unit. Um, and then here is your USB flash drive. That's going to have uh, all of the software uh, installation packages on it. And then they send you a key separately, an email, and you just drag that key file onto the drive and that activates uh, your software. So, and here is the QED itself. Ladies and gentlemen, the Unicore QED. Check it out. All in one small form factor. I mean, look at this. This is, this is easy to pick up. Not, uh, not that heavy. I'd say it's about less 15 pounds, 16 pounds or so. I'm sure we could look that up specifically. Looks like it has its little marker there for power requirements with a serial number. Um, that sticker just needs to be pushed down a little bit. And then uh, your infrared in the middle, your cameras, and then you can see this is that separate mounting bracket that we're gonna mount up on the ceiling and I'm gonna show you guys. Now they have that kind of nice and snug on there. So we're gonna grab a Phillips screwdriver and we'll loosen that and take it off. So there's the unboxing of the Unicore QED. And now we'll move into the installation.
All right, guys, so I got a ladder and I mounted the bracket up in the ceiling, three and a half feet behind the ball to the front of the bracket. I grabbed the unit and it easily just mounts up into some hooks. And then I ran my power cable and ethernet cable. Uh, I made this a one person job with a ladder. I did it safely. Um, you might want two people, but I would have to say this was a very easy install. All right guys, so now that I have the Unicore QED unit installed, I figured rather than going through a whole screen share, I would just show you what I'm gonna do directly on the laptop. This is where you're going to configure your network settings. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down in the search bar here and type in network, and you can see ethernet settings right here. I'm gonna click on that, and I can see right here, it says unidentified uh, network. So you can go to change adapter options, or you could right click on that. I just wanted to show you my different networks. I have Bluetooth, I have my normal ethernet for internet, and then I have Wi-Fi as well. Uh, that's how I connect to some of my other systems. And then you have this unidentified network. Now that's the one you're gonna right click on and go to properties, all right? That'll come up. And then once that comes up, you're going to go down here to your TCP IP4 protocol, all right? And you're going to go down to properties and then you're going to in enter in your own IP address, okay? 172, one, six one whoops one six one and then 100 and then subnet mask should be two five five two five five zero zero which it is so we should be all good there and i don't think you have to put anything in for gateway we should just be able to click ok and close all right, and now we should be good. On to the next step. Okay, so now what I've done is, is I have taken my USB drive that was included with my Unicore QED. I downloaded the license that was emailed to me. I copied that onto the USB, and now you can see I have the Zcam check right here that I'm going to go ahead and run. Uh, it's going to ask me if I want to go ahead and run that. It's an unknown application. And look at that. Our sensor is good. So the LAN connection is good. And we are all set. Now we can move on to the next step. All right, guys. So here we are. We are now ready to run the QED installation wizard. You're going to go ahead and run that program. It's going to look for your license. As I mentioned before, I took that license from my email and I put it onto the USB. So when I select browse, now I can see that license here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click open. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And then now you're going to need to install each of these individually, starting with the AIO runtimes. All right, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick time lapse of running through that. I'm gonna install the software and then we'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, so now it's time to do the calibration, which you're gonna go into your C folder and you're going to go to the Zcam sensor. And as long as your firewall allows this to run, which it should, and if it doesn't, um, you know, we can go over those settings separate. Um, but the Zcam tool right here, we're gonna run that. And I've already kind of gone through these paces. So normally you wouldn't see any of the dots or anything. And so what you want to do is you want to set your mat down to where it's centered on the lines. All right, so mine's just a little off from my hitting mat, but that's okay, because you can adjust it. What's key is, is it's key for it to be level, okay? And then straight. So let's make sure this is straight. Real close here. All right. 
weight. And I'm gonna make sure it's level. You want the T dot towards the back, which I have right now. There's the T. And it looks like I need to go down a little bit over here. It wants you to be level. It wants your hitting surface to be level. Alright, it's level. Now I'm gonna, and if you need to, if you can't see anything, you can hit brightness to brighten it up. I already did that. And now we're going to hit calibration. It's going to find the board and run through everything. You can see it's finding all of the different markings and adjustments it's making as it finds all very square. Calibration success. If you did not get that, you probably need to contact support. Now I can adjust my hitting area, okay? So make sure you have all your green dots. That's your grid. And then now you can go into the area setting where you can click and drag the green box to your hitting zone, okay? The box must stay within the green dots and close to center. So my area setting, there we go. And I know exactly where that is in a conjunction with everything. That is about dead center for my hitting area right there. It gives me my T off to the right. I might just go a little bit more to the right because that's where my T is. My T's off to the right. And then once I know that I'm dead center in that hitting area, I can just hit confirm. And then you can see now that's my current hitting area. If I wanted to adjust that, I could adjust that at that time. Um, but we should be good to go. So we're going to go ahead and click the confirm button. And we're ready to roll. We'll go on to the next section. Ready to run some software. All right, guys, welcome back. We have gone through it all. We did the Unicore QED unboxing. We did uh, the installation of the unit where we hung it and ran the power and the ethernet cable. Uh, we did the software installation and the activation of the software. And then we did the calibration of the unit. And I've gone through and fired things up to make sure everything's working and hit a ball and we're up and running. I mean, this thing showed up FedEx on my doorstep about an hour and a half ago. And here we are already running the system and hitting balls. So uh, the instructions were very detailed. Uh, they'll obviously assist you through the whole process. If you think you have the capability and knowledge to get through it all, um, I was very comfortable doing it and I thought it was very easy. But there's also this video that might help you a couple, you know, step by step through it. Feel free to comment and uh, ask any questions. Um, you know, obviously make sure you subscribe and like. I appreciate you guys watching. But let's hit a couple balls really quick. So I have the Ignite software open first because I felt like that was just something good to show you guys. It's the basic software that comes with the system. Um, I also have the Refine package currently. That way I can show you guys all of the uh, different ranges and the short course facility uh, where you can putt and chip and then also on course play with their software. Uh, but I figured show this first and then I actually am connected to E6 already. I'm, I already have a license for Creative Golf 3D. I already have a license for TGC 2019. So we're gonna showcase all of those softwares. So be patient, there's a lot of videos coming. I mean, there is a ton. So I just didn't wanna drag this one on too long. I wanted to show you the installation and how easy it was to get it up and running. Hit a couple balls, show you guys kind of how it works. I like the basic package, the Ignite package. Uh, it gives you all the data. It gives you the uh, club head camera. Um, it's really cool. So let me get this camera out of the way. I'm just going to move it, I think, in the upper right. Um, let me grab it, move it up here, and then just shrink it down because you guys don't really need to see that. This is just for demonstration purposes. You can see I kind of just hit a little pitching wedge uh, a minute ago, and I'm going to do the same thing. Look at that. It reads the ball that fast. Boom. Lay it down. I'm using the Bridgestone Mark balls that were included. Um, Let's just try to hit a nice soft pitching wedge. Here we go. Well, my standard pull, <laughs> I pulled that thing, but look at it. 131, that's the right distance. Gosh, look how close that club path was. So check this out. This is what I love. I love the camera where you can review so check this out. I'm going to hit 
I'm going to go right here in the software, hit play. I'm going to back it up. Boom. So I was just closed. I love how you look at this. I'm going step by step. So I'm, you can see my cursor there. I'm just hitting this. I can actually go right down to impact. There's impact. So I'm inside out and just closing it down. And that's my pull right there. I mean, you can look at the club path and the face angle, um, you know, data right there, but the video really shows it all. Um, I mean, that's been my, my, my problem. You know, I, I like a draw, but I need to start the ball to the right and, uh, you know, have a slight draw. So I got a shot in, uh, it was a decent shot. Um, I can show you guys kind of the data really quick before I get out of here. Um, so you can go up into the list and you can see that dispersion chart on the right. Okay. You can see how far off center I was. And then you can see total carry the run out, the side total apex distance to apex landing angle angle flight time, smash factor, ball speed, club head speed, face to path, face angle, club path. Look at that five, five, five point five and out. Um, launch angle, side spin, a lot of, lot of left side spin. That's why I was over there. Side angle and then back spin. All right. And then you can just go back here and then you can um, look at your side view if you want to. That's cool. That's that top view that I showed you. Um, really impressive software. And it really is. And so what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to change the view E6. And I know this looks a little crazy but I did this on purpose to show you guys the capabilities. Okay. And then let me pull it up on my projector as well. There you go. Um, Cause if you notice what I did here, I took E6. So it's already recognizing the ball. I took E6, I shrunk it down a little bit and then I chopped up the ignite software so I could look at all of them together. All right. So really cool. Um, if you have those capabilities, you know, I can let you know how to do it if you want. Um, it's, it's not too hard. Um, I just think it's really useful. It's really cool. So let's hit a ball inside of E6. That was a little better, but, uh, I pulled it again, but you can see less of a pull. It was better. Let's look at that replay there you can see my now what i can do is is i can go right back to the ignite software here and i can replay that and you guys can see it so i was a little better but still i just have to stop coming so inside out it's just going to be uh it's going to be challenging to fix that and i fell into that rut but this software is going to help me get there. I mean, it really is. This is just great software. So I know this is a lot in the first video. I'm going to bring it in section by section for you guys. Um, I'm very impressed with this whole system. I'm impressed with the way it shows up and you can just unbox it and install it yourself in that short period of time. Um, I mean, I think it was like an hour. I timed it. It was like an hour and 35 minutes. I mean, just, just unbelievable. I'm going to really dive into this software and I'll show you guys each section of it, how it performs. We'll put it up against other launch monitors. Um, I mean, I'm probably more excited than anybody watching. Um, I just think it's really cool. And then I know a lot of people were asking about the IXO and the plan is, is that we'll install that into the studio as well. So we have a lot of things coming up here. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think. And we have a ton of content on the way. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.